Hi there, Mark from Earth Cruiser. Thought I'd show you what we've been up to for the last six months, building our new uh, control system or our upgraded control system. We started this whole project uh, about three and a half years ago with Raymarine, trying to get their system to work in an automotive environment. We couldn't quite get there, but the, it was a very good system. Uh, currently, we use FinScan, an Australian system, and we have done for 10 years, and that's been a really good workhorse for us. Um, what we found is that we needed to do more and uh, Garmin have been working on, I think, this project for about three years. Uh, Garmin has, this is their second real reincarnation of this, of this, of this product. Uh, and this is, this is special. It is um, exactly what we need. Um, so how we do it is we have uh, three screens uh, in the vehicle. The screens come off the vehicle and you can use them just as an iPad and you can then use them to sit in bed and operate all your controls. Um, you can have this one set on, say, switching systems. So we can go in and um, switch all of our um, lights, appliances, whatnot. We also have all of our temperatures down here, including our compressor pressure. Uh, and then while that one's doing that, you can come down to this screen and you can um, say, go to your mapping system. So you might wanna use your hammer or you might wanna use your roadmaps. Um, uh, what have we got? Oh, how do we, oops. And then just some maps come up. So got that. You can also using this system while well, you still got your switching up there. So for all your lights and your um, appliances and things like that, even your, uh, your tanks are up here. So you can still be looking at say, your uh, tanks. Uh, so you've got uh, your diesel tanks over here and you've got your water tanks here. And then while that screen is there, down here, you can go to things. Uh, one of the really nice things about this new system, which we've been able to adapt, is our TPMS. Now TPMS normally, tire pressure monitoring system, um, allows you to see uh, each of your tires. So it shows you your pressure, your temperature, front, right, um, left, rear, all of that. So now, but what this really does really nicely is you go into each tire and actually gives you a history of what those tires have been doing. So it's, uh, it's a really good uh, idea, especially with the tires being um, uh, as expensive as the new ones are being Kevlar, they, uh, they tend to get up. Now, another thing in here is your owner's manual. So all the owner's manuals for the vehicles are on here, including video tutorials. So you can go into this and uh and check on different things uh as you as you're using it uh camera now the camera comes on with the reverse it also comes on at any time you can uh you can push your, your high camera and your low your low camera um do uh yeah, you I know think. put your steps up or your roof down so these are now your um steps in uh steps out you can see the steps are actually going out and then of course steps back in again and I'll just quickly show you roofs. These all got alarms on them now. So you've got um, a roof down and it shows you the roof actually sort of moving the, um, with the LED screen. Um, now let's go back out of that. So some of the other things we've got on here now is the new, um, the new vehicles we're building allow us to put hydraulic jacking systems on it for changing tires and leveling the vehicle if you like. So one of those things is you've got just putting your left front up or your left rear down or all of them or all front. So that, that allows for the four jacks around the car, around the vehicle to lift it. Um, it'll lift the vehicle off the ground, I think about, about 100 mil all the way around evenly. And obviously you can jack that up higher if you put more uh, packing blocks under each one. Um, I think probably... That's that. Now I'll just come back out of here. I can do it this way. Um, and then the other thing is like, so we've got our, down here we've got our um, airlift system. So the airlift system can now be run up here. Uh, just get out of that. Um, obviously it's just got to be connected to Bluetooth and then all of that will come up here. Now of course you can take that off the vehicle and operate that anywhere uh, around the vehicle as long as it can get, get signal. And um, 
makes it easier to use the jacking system so that when you use the hydraulic jacks, you can just take one of these screens out with you like this. Uh, I'll just show you. Um, oh, sorry, mate, home. So you go into this and you go to that and then you've got this screen and you just walk around the vehicle and you can see which uh, hydraulic jack that you're, um, you're going to drop down. So you can see what the jack's going to touch. Uh, you can see how high the vehicle's lifting because I think people have a misconception with the jack systems that you can just push go and the whole things go up in the air and all that. That's not right. With a four wheel drive, you need to go and have a look at where the foot of the jack is going to sit. You may have to put some more support around that um and then you can actually put some some weight onto it but of course with this here we can take this uh anywhere so there is one in the back there's one of these in the back as well but all your lights can come on um uh and then when you're driving you've got your bar lights and spotlights which you'd bring up on say this one here um so you've got that and so while you're driving you might have this on and then flicking these on and off as you see fit as you can see, if I push that, it comes on here as well, and it will come on in the back screen as well. Uh, so I'll just show you a, another little um, lifty thing. So, so now the other thing is at night, uh, we've always had this on our vehicles. We have an emergency light button here, so we turn that on. Now it shows you an aerial view of the vehicle, 360 degrees around. So what happens at night when you hear a noise, it's usually going to be an animal or something like that. All the big lights come on, so you've got 100 watts around, then you've got the big uh, bar light on the front. You can individually touch them um, just to turn them off, and now only the light to the uh, right of the vehicle is on. They can't see in, so if it's somebody, they can't actually see in the vehicle, but you can see out. Now, to turn them all off, you can either just push that button, all the lights are now off, or using this, you can leave that on and then if you're going through the other program you can still see there's a light on so you can just automatically turn it off like that um, I think uh, the only other thing that you might like is that um, I'll put that back in there for a second so that's just held in there with a, a magnetic um, uh, mount uh, this one's the same but it's got well, what we've done is we've um, printed a an extra surround for four wheel driving so that you know when it's up there and getting bashed around a bit uh it's it's quite well held in um i just show you this might not go up straight away i'll just have a quick look so now what we're doing is that's showing us the batteries all the time and it's showing you from a let's say bird's eye view it's it's accurate but if you really want to see what each battery's doing i've now just gone into the battery app and you'll see exactly what's happening with the batteries so what do we got here 13 3 so as you can see the bird's eye view, 13.4, but the actual battery is showing fractionally off. Um, but it's, it's probably not that big a deal. Now, obviously, in here, there are so many other things we can do with the batteries once we're in there. These batteries we've been using, these are our lithium batteries. We've been using these for uh, about eight years now and uh, had great success with them. So that's the lithium system. Um, and of course, you don't have to use any of those extras. That's all here anyway. But as you can see from here, we've got 1.5 amps coming in. We don't have anything coming through our battery charger. The cab um, is discharging at 0.8 and the house is discharging at 2.3. So we are actually uh, not making power. It's late in the afternoon. The sun's behind uh, some clouds there. As I said in the beginning, I think um, we've got our temperature gauges under here. So this gives us inside cab temp camper temperature, outside temperature, what our hot water is sitting out, our fridge, our rear fridge, our rear locker. The rear locker is because we use it as a heat room as well. And then we've got our uh, air pressure from the compressor sitting right there. So pretty much um, that's how it's uh, it's going to work if, if the customers opt for a um, an upgraded, sorry, um, uh, Garmin system. Now that Garmin system also, I can just go through this one here. Um, we can also run a, uh, oops, power on, sorry. Um, what have I done here? There it is. So this will also run Bluetooth with your phone, your AM, your FM, um, uh, USB, it's got an auxiliary as well for it. So that will also run just like your stereo system. So that's Fusion. The three companies that are in behind this, it's all owned by Garmin, but it's Garmin, uh, Fusion, 
and Empire Bus. Empire Bus is the digital switching system. So we have used that before. We, as I said, we started using that with uh, with the Rain Marine uh, pro project that we started. Worked really, really well. We just couldn't get enough because it's a dedicated marine system. We couldn't get enough to make it work uh, in an automotive environment, and we tried very hard. We uh, we lobbied the UK, we lobbied the US, and of course Australia did their best to get us across the line. But there was just a few things that. It just wouldn't do for it. in an automotive environment. In a marine environment, it's fantastic, but and so is the Garmin. But um, now Garmin have been able to pick up uh, the automotive, um, uh, I suppose, market maybe. But uh, anyway, it's here, and our customers are ordering them already.